All right. So instead, I had a replacement here, which is the Riverside Incident or just Riverside Incident. You might have watched my stream last week when I did Puppet Combo Games. Apparently, this one is, is pretty good. And like a good Spooptober game. And very, very different than the games I played last week from Puppet Combo. So, why don't we dive into this and see what it's all about. If it's anywhere near as loud as the Nun game, then we will not have any hearing. And everybody in chat will have tinnitus. But, I don't think it will be quite that loud, so... I'll just keep an eye on the volume. And, uh, anyway... Turn your lights out. It's Spooptober time. In July 1991, a group of hikers happened... Not yet. Not yet. We need that story. I need that story. I want to find out what the hell's going on here. This appears to be found footage. They just happened. Yeah, no, they just happened. They were birthed into existence by a great glitch in the sky. Okay. In July 1991, a group of hikers happened upon a garbage bag containing a videotape and some articles of clothing in Spring Forest State Park. After viewing the footage, they turned it into the local police, believing it to be a prank. Limited portions of the tape have been... Let's just say limited portions of the tape were, like, cut or removed or something. It would be nice if I could control that. Anyway, I guess I this VHS filter on the other puppet combo games. Less effective there than it is here. I need to turn my own damn lights off now. Okay, this is gonna be good. Uh... So picture yourself actually doing the urban exploration. There's an old, like, abandoned um, hospital. Insane asylum, if you would call it that. I don't really know. On Staten Island that my cousin and his friends went to. Probably around early 90s. And this was the quality of recording they had. And it looked exactly like this. This is pretty much what the quality of the camera looked like. And... I think I just glitched a little bit. Yeah, that's a glitch. Don't worry about that. Sometimes reality breaks. If, you know... You're in a spooky hospital. And... Anyway, the footage scared me because... They were scared. But because everything looked so crusty and gross. And apparently... As they were leaving... Like, they heard noises. Maybe they heard themselves. Maybe they heard a rat. Whatever. But they heard noises throughout the whole thing. But then at the end... They looked back and they saw that there was a light on, on like the fourth floor of the hospital. And they filmed it and they zoomed in on the light. And it went off. And that was very scary. I don't know if someone was fucking with them. I don't know if they were fucking with me or themselves. I, I don't know what that was, but that was something I remembered for years. And that was the end of that. You can zoom in. 
How old was I when I saw that? Probably about eight. There's also a TV show on public access called Scared on Staten Island, which was specifically about... It was Ghost Hunters before Ghost Hunters. And it was just a bunch of dumbasses breaking into old abandoned places and sewers and just using cameras of this quality and then later better quality to film. And sometimes there would be like a strange thing. It wouldn't be like Zach Baggins. Sometimes you'd hear something strange, but most times it would... Nothing like that happened. Speaking of nothing happening... Yeah, it was just early ghost adventures. Pre-YouTube urban explorers on public access, correct. Except, yeah, not... It, like, well... They weren't trying to fight the ghosts. Anyway, as we slip further into the relaxation zone and continue to uh, climb the stairs, I have to wonder... Okay, now that's, that's a dead end. Are we... Serious? Serious? Ah! <sighs> Why am I so slow? Why am I walking like I broke my fucking leg? Oh shit. Okay, portions of the footage are missing. It's amazing how graphics... You could just fill in the blanks in your mind when the quality is so shitty. It's the reason that fucking raft segment in Creep Show 2 scared me as a kid, because the TVs all looked like this. And instead of it looking like a tarp, it actually did look like a slime beast in a in a lake. Or just like a weird I thought it was a dream at one point. But The more HD we get, the more detail you can see, and the less you use your imaginations. I'm just going through a table. That's what that was. Did you, chat, did you hear a whisper? tape recorder. Well, that's fine. It's not paranormal. I have no idea why that would be running in a place like this. At this time, who would have set that up? No one's been here. Who replaced the batteries? I don't I don't know. Um I don't know. So there were two explanations for the light being on, aside from their friends screwing around with them. Uh, and any 
abandoned location that's shitty like this. When I was younger, the two explanations that I heard were... One, drug addicts. So imagine doing drugs in a place like this. Oh, I can feel it. I can feel it hitting. The anxiety levels reach maximum. And then, of course, devil worshippers were the other ones that I heard. That was the other, um, answer. So you're gonna go into an old, abandoned, shitty location and worship the devil? Couldn't you just do that from home? Why, why does the devil need to be summoned in an abandoned hospital? I believe there was an, uh, a monastery as well that people would say. I forget which lo what it was called, but it was like an old church, I think, or monastery or whatever. Anyway, it was, yeah, more devil worshippers were supposedly there. Because misery and death. Okay, well, that makes sense, I guess. Devil sure likes to be around that stuff. The devil apparently rewards effort. Like you leaving your house. And, uh, oh. Like, uh, here's a cut. Like you leaving your house and finding a shitty location. Hey, man. I saw you like to go urban exploring. That's a cool pentagram you made, dude. Why don't you let me into your life? Is that... Is that a fruit? Why is it so ripe? That is really scary. It's an 866 fruit right there, or it could be a, a homeless person squatting in here, or could also, what is all this gas? Uh, also could be a clown nose, and this is just a spooky clown game. Vinny, are you controlling a robot in a real house? This is a real house, yes. There's a camera mounted to a robot in a real, like, abandoned house set. Like, Isotopium. Well, no, not really, but that would be fucking cool. Uh, show of hands, chat. And be as honest as possible about this. What? I don't like this area. Would any of you actually do this alone? Urban exploration in a place like this? I see like 80, per, 80 to 90 percent no's. Probably even more than that.
Not unless I have a gun, said someone. So you're more concerned about the living than the dead. Because you can't shoot a ghost. I had um, a little bit of... I wasn't feeling all that great today. I might actually have a cold. If you heard the way I sounded last night, you might hear that. So I took some, uh, you know, like headache medication. Anyway, point is, I'm all right. Uh, I'll deal with it. But I had a, a nap earlier. I just slept a little bit before my stream because I wanted to just maybe get rid of the headache a bit. And it worked a little. I feel good enough to stream for sure. That said, I had a little bit of sleep paralysis earlier. And I heard... Rhythmic... Def definitely devil worshippers here. Um, rhythmic clanking. And, like... Dudes... Yelling. But it was part of my dream. And in my mind, I'm like formulating, alright, here's what I'm gonna do. I got a flashlight. The flashlight does. The flashlight's got like a mode. Uh, um, that strobes. It's very bright and it strobes. So, in one hand, I'll point the flashlight at them, right? And then, in the other hand, machete. And I just run at them in the nude, and they won't expect it. And that's, that's the plan. If you watch the Preacher TV show, there is a moment where Hair Star is being attacked, and he just starts like... I think he just starts wanking. And they just leave him alone. They're just so confused that they just like stop. They just give up. He knew what he was doing. This is really creepy. This, this seems like... Not... A shitty haunted house though. This is like someone's living area. This, this, this doesn't seem haunted. Christine. It was like Leslie Nielsen's house in Creepshow 1. Um, I can't get in. I 
I watched um, half of Halloween 3 for the first time. And it is a very cheesy movie. It's good, though. It's... It's fun. Eight more days to Halloween. <laughs> it's it's good, but yeah, there's like... The, the lead character... Is like mustache 80s man. And... It, he was just like... It's such a like stereotypical 80s protagonist it made me laugh like the 80s isms were off the charts down to the uh, romance but it was actually a pretty good movie so far and uh yeah creepy in, in the ways that halloween was creepy and also in some ways that it wasn't but very very corny yeah the not michael myers one I'm on like a ridge looking down at the the burning of that house, I guess. Uh It just shut down. Vinny, that sound was from a real 911 call where an old lady gets attacked by an intruder. Oh fuck, I remember that. I know, I know what that is. That video is, is actually really fucking horrifying. Okay, we're going to take a break now. I will be back with corruptions. Just a little bit of change of pace. Not a ton of corruptions, but some good ones, quality ones. And then Lost in Vivo, which will be another really good, spoopy uh, October game. Stick around.